So, boys and girls, today we're doing a different type of story. We're doing a story that I did when I was like eight years old. My book about me. Here is me. And I wanted to give you the idea of doing your own book about you. Why couldn't you do a book about you? I think it'd be so fun. So I was going to show you this book. It's full of really fun questions. You could get your own paper and make up your own questions and write a book about you. I think it'd be very fun and I would love to see those. And if you feel like it, I know they still sell this book on Amazon. It was by Look Who Is This, Dr. Seuss. But I think it'd be super cool if you did your own. So look at this and get some ideas for questions that you can answer in your book about you to tell people all they need to know about yourself. Okay, here we go. Okay, Lions, here we go. Remember, pay attention to get some ideas for questions you can put in your own book about yourself. Maybe you want to put your picture on the front of it, like I did, and it says, my book about me by me, myself, with some help from my friends, Dr. Seuss and Roy McKee. I think Roy McKee helped illustrate it. All right. My name is Susan. I don't care if you like my name or not. That's my name. It's the only name I've got. So you might want to probably tell your whole name. What's your first name, your middle name, and your last name in your book? My book about me, I wrote it. I drew it. First of all, there is one thing you should know. Am I a boy or am I a girl? Well, I'll tell you, I am a girl. So we got that straight first of all. Tell are you a boy or a girl? I weigh 65 pounds. That's not how much I weigh now, that's how much I weighed then. How much do you weigh? How tall am I? I am four feet, one inches tall when I was seven or eight when I made this book. So put how tall you are. My teeth, I counted them. I have 13 up top, 13 downstairs. How many teeth do you have? My hair looks like this. I drew it in. Hmm. My hair was purple, apparently. I didn't know that, but I had bangs, and uh, that was my hair. My hand is this big. How big is your hand? You could draw around it with a pencil or a pen and show how big your ha hand is. Show what your hair looks like. Let's see if my hand is any bigger now. Oh, yeah. Definitely bigger now. Do you want to know how big my foot is? Well, this is how big I drew around it with a pencil. That's how big my foot was then. I'm not even gonna show you how big my foot is now because it is so big. But you can put how big your foot is. My nose. Do you have a long nose, a short nose, an up nose, a down nose, a broken nose? This is how my nose goes. I drew it. This is the color of my eyes. So my eyes are still blue. Blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, black eyes, pink eyes, hazel eyes, gray eyes, ooh, yellow eyes. So make sure you put sort of some of your facial features. What does your nose look like? What are your eyes like? Eyeglasses. I wear glasses. I don't wear glasses. I did not wear glasses when I wrote this book. Freckles. I don't wear freckles. I do wear freckles. I did have freckles. And I thought I had about a hundred freckles. Do you have freckles? How many do you have? Where in the world do I live? I live in one of these countries. This book lists like every country you can think of. I put that I lived in North Carolina. That was the state I lived in. What state do you live in now? Make sure you put that in your book. If you want to send me a letter, 
here's my name and address. I think it'd be so cute if you drew yourself an envelope with a stamp. Here was my address, Susan Riddick. That was my name before I was Susan Monroe, before I got married. 1907 Hardy Road, Kinston, North Carolina. If you want to phone me, call this number. My number was 527-5200. Do you know your phone number? Do you know your address? They're important things to know. Put them in your book. It'll help you learn them. My house. Do you live in an apartment house? A house in the city? A house in the town? A house in the country? A house in the mountains? A house in the desert? A house in the suburbs? A farmhouse? A house near the water? An igloo? Well, we've all lived in an igloo for a little bit this year when we had the igloo in our room. I put I lived in a house in the town, which was sort of true, but there was a field across the street from my house, so I could have said a house in the country as well. But I said a house in the town. Where do you live? Do you live in the suburbs of Atlanta? Do you live in the city? Do you live in an apartment house? Is your house near water? So many things to think of. Now, you could tell all about your house. I went around and counted. My house that I grew up in had 19 windows. It had four beds, mm, one picture on the wall. I think that's because we had just moved there. Only one picture. It had 14 steps going upstairs. We had 16 forks and had two keyholes, one in the front door, one in the back door. How many beds does your house have? How many pictures on the wall? How many steps? How many forks are in your house? You could even put how many spoons and knives. How many keyholes are in your house? Where are the keys? Oh, wow, more about the house. In my house, there are 20 lights. We have five clocks. In my house, there are six mirrors. We have nine cold water faucets and seven hot. I counted the outside cold water faucets too. Remember all this for your book. About me eating. I eat like a horse. I eat like a bird. Do you eat like a horse? Eat like a horse means you eat. Oh, nom, 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 nom. You eat a lot. If you eat like a bird, you're picky. You don't, you know, you want your certain things to eat. I said I eat like a bird. I was a little picky but eventually I ate like a horse. Mmm, guys, my favorite food is, you get to put down what your favorite food is in your book about you. My favorite food was pizza, spaghetti, and apples. And I still absolutely love all those things. But here, please don't give me any mushrooms. I can't stand it. I, oh. Put down the food you never want. That way people know what not to give you. I still hate mushrooms. I don't like them, I should say. Mm, don't give me any. My birthday is March 4th. Next year, I will have nine candles. So if I would have nine candles the year after I wrote this. How old was I when I wrote it? I know I've already told you I was eight. If you really want to give me a birthday present, here is what I want most of all. What do you want most of all for your birthday? It's great to have it down in your book so people know. A pogo stick. That's what I wanted. But if it costs too much, forget it. And here I put my own name on the present. Happy birthday to Susan. I would love to see you draw a big cake with all the candles on it for your birthday, too. I go to school on foot, on a bike, by helicopter, by bus, by car, or by subway. I went by car. I would love to go by helicopter, though. How do you get to school when you go to school? Next year, how are you going to get to kindergarten? On a bus? Your mom or dad gonna drive you? Do you get to walk? How about a helicopter? 
My teacher's name, my favorite teacher's name is Mrs. Bassard. Yes, she was my teacher. I study many things. I like reading best. I like math worst. Can you believe that, boys and girls? I like math worst, and now I teach y'all math. I got so I loved it. And then, make sure you put this. This is, I am a very good student. I am a so-so student. I am awful. Check the box. I thought I was a very good student. So make sure you have a section that tells about your school, how you get to school, who your teachers are, what you like to do and don't like to do. Here are some more interesting things about me. I have read about a thousand books I loved to read, and my favorite book was Ditto. I am right-handed. I am left-handed. I am both-handed. I don't know why I put I was left-handed. I am right-handed. I can stand on my hands for zero seconds. Are my feet ticklish? Yes or no? What other things can you tell people about yourself? How many books have you read? Have you learned to read yet? Are you right-handed or left-handed? Can you stand on your hand? Can you do a somersault? Are you ticklish? Where are you ticklish? My favorite pet is a cat. I have one, or I wish I did. I had one. My cat's name was Grayley. But they give you all these ideas for pets. You would have to have a page on your pet or maybe the pet you would love to have. Do you want to have a fish, a pig, a horse, a gerbil, a frog, a hippopotamus, a porcupine, a lamb, a lizard, a skunk, a squirrel, an octopus, a rat, a goat, a snake, a guinea pig, an alligator, a dog, a cat, a bird? So many choices. Some secret things I know. Do you know any secret things? Put them in your book too. It is 24 steps from my door to the first tree. That was the first tree in my yard. I remember measuring. It is 62 steps from my tree to the first mailbox. It is 90 steps from my mailbox to the first door. I bet you never knew that before. What are some secret things you could tell? How many steps is it from your bedroom to the kitchen? Hmm. How many steps is it from your door to the first tree? to your mailbox, to your friend's house. My clothes. I own 37 buttons. How many buttons do you have on your clothes? I bet you don't know. You need to find out. And I counted my zippers. I had four zippers. Hmm. My favorite color is red and blue. Please put your favorite color in your book and tell me about your clothes. You could even draw a picture of your favorite clothes. Are your clothes your favorite color? I would like to know. My very special autograph collection. You can see I did not get many autographs. An autograph is someone's signature when they sign their name. Um, and here are some ideas of autographs you could get. An uncle's autograph, an aunt's autograph, a cousin's autograph our mailman's autograph, a grandmother's autograph. I got my grandmother's autograph, mom. I called her mom. A grandfather's autograph. How about a fireman's autograph? A market man's autograph. How about a policeman's autograph? A delivery man's autograph. We all ought to be able to get that. The autograph of a man with a beard. Autograph of a man more than six feet, three inches tall. That was my pediatrician. He was more than six feet. Six feet, three inches tall. He also uh, flew hot air balloons, so he put he was a balloonist. What autographs can you get? You could get an autograph of your neighbor. You can get autographs from your mom and your dad, from your brothers and your sisters. You might have to wait and get some of these after we can get out of our stay at home. But start thinking on that and make a section for autographs. How about your best friend? My best friend is a boy a dog, a cat, or a girl. My best friend was a girl. My best friend's name is Amy. Amy Fisher was her name. And here is how to spell it backwards. Yima, Y-M-A. Who is your best friend? How do you spell their name backwards? How do you spell their name forwards? 
It might be really silly sounding backwards. So why don't you try that? <gasps> Sometimes I get mad at people. Oh no. Boys and girls, do you believe that Miss Susan ever got mad? Yes, I did. Ah, uh, check one. Sometimes I get mad at some people. Yes or no? Yes. Sometimes I got mad at people. I have kicked someone. I said no, I had not kicked someone. I have pushed someone. Yes, I had pushed someone. I had hit someone. Ooh, yes, I think it was my brother. I have yanked hair. No, I had not yanked hair. I'm sorry I did it. Yes or no? I'm sure you're all sorry you've done it if you've gotten in a fight and got mad at somebody. My longest. What are the longest things you've ever done? My longest walk was one mile. Ooh, it says, oh, I, I, my longest bike ride was, it looks like it says 112 miles. It was one half a mile. My longest car trip was 1,500 miles. Hmm, I'd love to know where I had been. My longest plane trip was 2,000 miles. I might have been guessing at this. My longest fish was zero feet, 10 inches. And that was true. I loved fishing. My longest swim was 18 feet. I could swim across the pool. My longest hair is 10 inches. How long is the longest hair on your head? Have you ever thought of that? You'd have to measure it. What's something else you could measure that's the longest? What's the longest room in your house? How long is your driveway? What's the longest walk you've ever been on? I can draw funny pictures like this. I drew this bird. His name is Papap. That was my grandfather's name. I thought I was being really funny. Can you draw a silly bird? Any silly animal will do. Draw something silly in your book. My hobbies. Do you have a hobby? Something you like to do to keep busy for fun? Do you collect anything? It says, I collect. Do you collect stamps? Seashells? How about bird's eggs? Do you collect nothing? Do you collect coins? Do you have a money collection? Do you collect string? How about butterflies? How about walrus whiskers? Hmm, what else? I collect rocks. Yes, I had a rock collection. So I collected seashells and rocks. What is your hobby? It doesn't even have to be collecting something. Maybe your hobby is playing a sport. Maybe your hobby is riding your bike. Maybe your hobby is painting or drawing. Make sure that's in your book. My favorite sport is baseball. I am very good. I am sort of good. I was not so good. How about you? What's your favorite sport? My favorite song is Three Blind Mice. We've never even sung that in school. Why not? Apparently it was my favorite song. I sing in my bath. Yes or no? Do you sing in the bathtub? I did not. I would love to hear one of you sing in the bathtub. I am a great whistler. Can you whistle? Yes or no? I hum better than I whistle. Yes, I hummed better than I whistled. Are you a great whistler? Maybe you're a great singer. You could write about that. My favorite musical instrument is, is it guitar? Is it xylophone? Is it trumpet? Cello? Trombone? Violin? Piano? Drums? My favorite instrument was the drums. What is your favorite instrument? Here we go. How about a tidiness? How neat are you? I am very neat. Do you keep your room spick and span and tidy all the time? Are you not so neat? It's a little messy. Or are you pretty sloppy? It's a disaster area. I was not so neat. I love this. Do you talk in your sleep? I talk in my sleep. Or I never talk in my sleep. I did talk in my sleep. And I still talk in my sleep. I like to get up at 7 o'clock. What time do you get up? Do you talk in your sleep? Are you neat or sloppy? These are all great questions.
questions. I can make noises. What are the special noises you can make? Can you make a noise like, oh, look, I was very talented with making noises. Here, can you make a noise like a rooster? Like a dog? Like a cat? Like a goat? Like a sheep? Like a goose? Like a train? And we have some spaces for other things. I could also make a noise like a baby burping. Great. I could make a noise like a frog. I could make a noise like a car. My family loves my no noises. Yes or no? No, they did not love my noises. What noises can you make? When I grow up, I want to be a... What do you want to be? So many choices. Farmer, doctor, nurse. I can't read them all. I'll just read some. Taxi driver, minister, priest, nun, steeplejack, librarian, musician, burglar, cowboy, Indian, frogman, baseball player, TV star, electrician, fireman, policeman, hairdresser, mathematician, stockbroker, telephone operator, paleontologist, coal miner, rabbi, artist, dentist, mailman, judge, jockey, president, milkman, accountant, airplane stewardess, magician, bus driver, gardener, actor, general, butcher, pianist, watchmaker, tailor, soldier, sailor, millionaire, singer, cartoonist, locksmith, blacksmith, saleskeeper, fisherman, statistician, teacher, dancer, yak trainer. Whew. And there are even more choices. What do you want to be when you grow up? Here's what I put. When I grow up, I want to be a mother. And I was a mother. I still am a mother. So lucky. Best job ever. Oh, oh, I had forgotten this was in here. I like to write stories, and here is one I wrote. Hmm. Okay, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I'll have to read you this story. But you have to promise me you're going to write your own story in your book. It says, I like to write stories. Here's one I wrote. Oh, no. Here's my story. Once there was a worm whose name was Harold, and he was very hungry. He was a very hungry worm. One day he went to school, and when he went, he was thin. When he came back, he was very, very, very fat. And his mother said, Harold, what happened? I ate everything in sight, including the teacher and my classmates. Just then, a terrible thing happened. He burped, and everything came out, and boy, did he get a spanking. The end good story, isn't it? It was an amazing story, wasn't it, about Harold the Worm. What would you write a story about? Hmm? I can't wait to hear your story. <gasps> Last page. Well, sir, that's it. My book about me. I finished writing it in a good month. It took me a whole month to do this book. <gasps> Hi, I'm back again. Here are three things about me I forgot to tell you. <clears throat> I own four shoelaces. I own 37 buttonholes to go with my 37 buttons. I wish I were a giraffe. Well, I'm glad I'm not a giraffe. I'm glad I'm not a giraffe. Don't forget those questions in your book too. So that was my book about me. And I cannot wait to see y'all writing your own books about you. So get to work. It would be a great thing to do over the weekend just to get started. You don't have to finish it all at once, but I would love to see them. So get busy, have fun with it, and see you soon. Bye, lions.